Good day, Wise Out of West scholars. It's time for another one of those amazing flipped lectures from one of the awesome history teachers at West. Be sure to write these notes in your notebook, including titles, and listen carefully for the secret word. Write it down when you hear it for a possible drawing. Increasing tensions between the United States and Germany. When World War I began, the United States was neutral or stayed out of the conflict. The U.S. continued to be neutral until 1917. President Wilson had decided to follow the traditional American political belief of isolationism, which is the policy of avoiding involvement in other nations' affairs. President Wilson urged the public to be impartial in thought as well as action. Many Americans saw the war as a European conflict and not an American one. Additionally, with the high population of recent immigrants from all over the world in American cities, loyalties could be tested. For example, 8 million Americans had one or more parents who had been born in Germany or Austria. The first issue that strained U.S.-German relations was Germany's policy of unrestricted submarine warfare. The Germans developed this policy to deal with British supremacy of the seas. The British Navy effectively blockaded Germany, and this led to a severe famine in Germany because food, fertilizers, and any other good that could aid Germany's war effort could not be imported. The German Navy also wanted to disrupt supply lines and trade for the Allies as their supply lines had been disrupted. The German Navy began to seek new strategies to capitalize on their biggest strength, the world's largest and most advanced fleet of U-boats or submarines. Previously, international law had stated that military ships at war would have to warn neutral merchant ships and search them to determine if they were carrying war goods. This would make the German fleet of U-boats too vulnerable when they surfaced. So the Germans decided on a new strategy, unrestricted submarine warfare. In unrestricted submarine warfare, German U-boats would attack any ship, merchant, or war vessel in the war zone that carried necessary arms or supplies without warning. This included ships from neutral nations like the United States, as well as allied nation ships. Unrestricted submarine warfare was successful and caused heavy losses to allied shipping. The fleet sank 11 million tons of shipping. The United States disliked Germany's policy of unrestricted submarine warfare because as a neutral nation, they felt that American merchants should be able to trade with all nations without fear of being torpedoed. Since Germany had been open about the policy and had warned American citizens and merchants in newspaper ads, like this notice that appeared next to an ad for the Lusitania, they felt that unrestricted submarine warfare was a fair policy.